Hi, in case you're new to my site or my page, you may be wondering who Michelle James is. So um, that's what this video is about. I'm going to introduce myself to you so that you can get a feel of who Michelle James really is. That's right, so my name is Michelle James. I live in London in the United Kingdom. I was born and bred here and lived here most of my life. Um, I spent five years in Peterborough, which is in Cambridgeshire, about 90 about 80 miles from London. I have uh, three children. One will be 25 in August. Um, a boy, my oldest boy, 25 in August. I have another son, 22, and I have a daughter of 15. Now, I'm not like most people, you know, you will not see loads of pictures on my Facebook page or anywhere of my children. Um, my children are quite private, apart from my daughter. So, unfortunately, you won't be able to see them, but I do have them. Uh, this is the closest you're going to get to seeing, seeing the boys. That's me, my mum, my daughter and my two sons. And I also have two grandchildren. I have a grandson who will be four in August and I have another one going to be two um, next month. And I also have my lovely little cat called Fluffy, which you'll see from time to time in my videos if you continue to follow me. Fluffy is the love of my life and nobody can take his place. So that's a little bit about my personal background. I'm a qualified social worker. I'm also a qualified hoop instructor. <laughs> into internet marketing and network marketing. Now you might wonder why should you listen to me and what qualifies me to be a leader and somebody that you should actually take notice of. Well I'm a person that I don't um, believe in pulling the wool over people's eyes. Um, I'm a person of integrity and what you see is what you get from me. So if I tell you it's white, it's white. I'm not going to be um, showing you things that I haven't actually tried myself. I'm a person that I like to prove that things actually work. So not because somebody else has said it does. I like to give it a try and see for myself. So I hope um, with that alone, you'd be able to take my word that if I recommend something to you, that you feel that, yeah, it's going to be worthwhile you trying. And on that note, the reason why I am here, um, I've been social working for about 10 years now. And um, I got into social work to help people. So I've got that caring nature about me. You know, I hate to see people struggling. I hate to see people suffering. I hate misjustice to be done. I think I've always had that kind of caring nature about me. And so I thought, you know, I'd be able to save the world and help everybody and, you know, make, make, make it a better place. But unfortunately, that wasn't actually the case. Um, once I actually got into social work, it's more about policing people as opposed to helping them. And I think you'll find that a lot um, with a lot of the professions these days. We get into it with one um, view in mind, but then it doesn't always actually work out the way we intended it to be. And so now, because of there's been so many um, case reviews and um, serious things that have taken place in the UK, that, you know, it's made the work a lot harder and it's more about the paperwork and the stats um, more than, you know, the hands-on social work. So after 10 years now, I've actually decided that I've had enough and I'm fed up of working for somebody else. But technically I wasn't because I've always been um, self-employed. I've always been um, a contractor, freelance social worker, as we call it over here in the UK. Um, I've always had a head for business. I've always wanted to do things for myself. Um, I don't know. I just don't like working for other people. I hate people telling me what to do. And I like to be able to think for myself, basically. So um, following the death of my father in 2005, I decided that I needed to take a break from the nine to five and maybe try and set up something for myself, which led me into hula hooping. Now that might seem really weird, you know, what's the transition from social work to hula hoop, as my kids thought I was really off my head. But um, I'm not really a person that's into keep fit, so 
I wanted to find alternative ways of, you know, trimming myself up, losing weight, toning and all that sort of thing. And never been able to hula hoop as a kid. So decided to give it a go and pleasantly surprise myself so much that I decided to become a hula hoop instructor. So I've actually been hooping now for four years. Um, I take classes. I do two classes at the moment, twice a week, on a Tuesday and a Saturday in my local area. And I'm soon to be starting online hoop classes. So if any of you are interested in um, learning how to dance in your hula hoop and how you can actually burn 100 calories in 10 minutes, please feel free to complete my um, online survey. Give me your availability and I'll get back to you. So that's just another string to my bow. So now I've got into network marketing and I've been network marketing since last year, April. Now, I, like a lot of people, was told by my upline, you know, go and talk to your friends, go and talk to your family, introduce them to the business, you'll be fine. All you need is X amount of people and you've got a thriving business. But I look further than that. I, I always look outside the box. And so I started to research on the internet to learn more about my company um, because I wanted to know, does it actually work? Are there people out there actually making money or is it one of those get rich quick schemes? People are telling you, yeah, you're going to make all this money and it doesn't actually happen. So um, along my journey, I found a lead generation system and um, you know, one of those videos similar to what I'm doing now, hey, you know, listen to this, this is great, you know, don't do what your upline do, you need to find out how you can um, generate leads online, and grow yourself a thriving business. So I looked at one of those videos and I decided to um, fill out the contact form and um, from the information that I read and that I saw, it interested me quite a lot didn't realise that there was actually so much to learn in terms of um, networking on the internet and um, how you actually grow your business online. So I started following that um, lead generation system. I got really baffled by it. It was just like too much for me, to be honest with you. So I stopped it. But I wasn't making any money. People weren't knowing me. I wasn't getting any leads. So I decided to revisit it again and... Um, the way how I got back into it really, I started following um, a gentleman called Jordan Schwartz and I started emulating the stuff that he had done. So he actually um, done an eight day boot camp where he showed you how to set up your blog and how to um, do, you know, do the general things, the basic things that you need to get yourself going um, if you want to be an internet marketer. So I started to follow him, started accessing training and generally um, discovering more about myself and who I am. So um, with that said, I've got about nine months um, worth of knowledge now. That might not be a lot to some people, but if you're just starting off on the ground, you know, it is quite mind boggling and it's so much to take in in such a short period of time. But I think sometimes we need to keep it real and I'm that's why I'm here I'm here to show you I'm a real person and I'm keeping it real I have a busy lifestyle you know it's not as easy as they that is cracked up to be but it is possible for you to make a living and it is possible for you to earn um, a good substantial income now I I'm not going to profess to be a millionaire because I'm not I'm not going to be I'm not going to profess to be five six figure earner because I'm not as I said, I'm here to keep it real. And just like any business, you need to understand that you are embarking on a new business. This is a new business adventure. So if you know, a lot of businesses take anywhere up to seven years to actually get off the ground. You're going to find a lot of people on here. You're going to click on many sites. You're going to hear many testimonies like mine, where people are going to tell you, you know, within my five, sorry, within my first month, um, I made X amount online that I was able to give up my job. I'm not here for that. Like I said, I'm keeping it real because I know there's a lot of people like me that are not going to be at that pace, at that stage where they are going to be able to generate that income. And I don't want to give you that full sense of security or put you off into thinking, well, you've started it and you're not seeing that flow of income come in, then you're going to feel that you were lied to. Yeah. So I just felt that I needed to make this video so that you know that there's real people out there that maybe like yourself are not earning tens of thousands of pounds right now, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to come. 
you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. That's my philosophy. So, you know, just take your time and learn as much as you can and you'll get there. So I hope you'll continue to follow, follow me and, you know, maybe we can go through this journey together and it'll be really nice to see people that have started off and maybe following my progress and you're actually learning from me as well because I will be putting videos up um, I'm going to try to put them up on a daily basis and whatever I've learned I'll be sharing that with you also so again you know please please feel free to join me on Facebook um, that's Facebook slash Michelle James MLM or my personal Facebook is Michelle 66 James I'm also on Twitter um, again it's Michelle James I am I'm on Skype as well so I look forward to networking with you guys and you know please feel free to join me as I said any questions do not hesitate to get back to me thank you and see you again bye